Hey babies, welcome back to Sail with Mimiciously Mimi. Hope you all are having a Mimiciously evening. Hope you all are doing great. So guys, I'm back to the housemate update with your faves. Cassia asked a very important question, asked Victoria a very important question, you know, that actually got me smiling. But we'll get above that later, later on on this video. You know, one thing with Mimi, she's Mimi, she's always saving the best for the last. But first off, let's see some of the thingy that transpired in the house before then. So, um, the camera ensued on um, the Tonita ship, right? Having disagreements. So when they were having these disagreements, I totally, I thought, like, I totally forgot or whether they have ish. But I thought it was their prank. Remember I told you guys that um, these two are going to be pranking the housemates. And they are going to fake disagreement, a very loud one. So when they were having that disagreement, I was thinking, oh, they've started a prank. But at the same time, the room was empty. There was nobody there to listen to the conversation or the disagreement. So um, Anita was just telling um, Tofar that he, should, he better be sorry because he said he was sorry. And then Anita was telling Tofar, you better be sorry because if not next time, I will clear you there in front of people. Now, what did Tofar do? After all the apology, plenty of apology from Tofa, you know, Anita says she's fine, but she just needs to, you know, process things in. So, um, Tofa later went to go discuss with Nelly, telling Nelly that, oh, that Anita is really not happy with him. Now, what did Tofa do? Tofa said, when they went, first off, guys, did you watch when the housemate went to go do their rehearsal? You know, before their wager tax, Biggie would give them time to come to the arena and, you know, display and say whatever they want to say. So, do you think they are going to win this uh, wager or you think it's not going to be a win tonight? Anyways, to me, I feel like there is nothing much yet because Biggie, they are the one editing their videos, right? We are yet, we are yet to see the video. I can't wait for tonight anyways. So, when they finish their rehearsal, Hassel because there were so many lapses like they were not really prepared with their spe speeches some of them forgot their story that it would actually come out you know to tell the world you know because they are in a better place now it's just giving this is this was where i used to be now i'm in a better place so uh, many of them forgot their lines like they were not fully prepared when they came to the arena and then Tofas made a speech and said that people should get ready and make sure that they come with their brain. And that got to Anita because Anita just finished making a speech before Tofar said that and all of the housemates laughed about it. So because of that, um, Anita told Tofar that you come, you do anyhow in the public and you come to apologize privately. So and Anita, Anita felt that uh, words was for her and then she felt bad that Tofar could say that after she had finished her speech. That was why she was pissed. So um, Nelly was saying, wait till you even talk bad, you know. So she, he felt like, okay, he's going to make a public apology because Anita felt like you did it in public and now you're apologizing privately. So he wants to make the uh, public apology to all of the housemates and he said he never had Anita in mind when he said that. You know, so they now told us see the same thing was like to him he did not think he was referring to anita and it was not that deep that was what oc said but later on he did not apologize to the housemate i think maybe because anita was still cool with him sorry with him and then was even giving him room to make like because anita said he asked of her to help her you know with her own roles so as to see something she needs to impute that in her speech so now but anita said tofa did not even even care nor gave her attention. It was even Kelly Ray who helped her a bit. So that's why she was feeling bad that the same person I needed his help coming here to say people should come with their brain. So she felt so disrespected about that. But Anita is really cool. I think maybe Anita said there is no need for public apology or something. So because Tofa did not carry out the apology anymore. Wahala be like sheep, oh, one minute trouble. <laughs> even Nelly was laughing, saying that this is their ship every minute, you know, Tofa they commit. So meanwhile, this scenario was a Wani X handy the twin spilling the honest truth that Biggie is not impartial. Sorry, Biggie is not partial, guys. Sorry, oh. Biggie is not partial. That's what they were saying. Not impartial. Biggie is not partial. That he's an impartial judge. You understand? That um because of I think they were having one Thinking. They were discussing something with Sean in the kitchen about what Sean's reaction on something on Biggie, you know, and then they felt like um, Biggie needs to be lenient because he did not, you know, he did not grow up here. He's a London boy. And then one year, Sandy, that's why they were having this private conversation and they were like, Biggie does not do that. Biggie does not do partial. He does not care anywhere you come from. So if Biggie is lenient with you because of you're from London, so that means we Nigerians, so we should take 
that thing by but you you're not taking it so they are trying to be you know those ones they would spill it they said oh they feel like biggie is never partial so people of the social space felt like biggie hope you're hearing one ex handy if you want to give them any punishment please consider especially because of the strike you gave them you know biggie is yet to give them the punishment from their strike because they had punishment too you know they would serve so people are like biggie better <laughs> temper, temper justice with mercy because see your babes they are saying you are not partial at least they know you very well okay now let's enter the main gist okay before i even started off with the gist i don't know why um some of those housemates like i don't know why adults are the worst set of people to even control or train or anything that's why you see during the all-star season they were kind of how would i put it they were like they know how to coordinate things why did i say so so victoria was bitterly complaining this um this afternoon that during their pool party she did not even get a donut for herself she was telling um cassia and kelly ray she said if she survived um this sunday that come next week during the pool party immediately biggie says oh the pool party door is not open that she would rush she would be among the first person she would go and take five donuts five fish pie or whatever you know and she would wait and see anybody that would tell her that oh i've not eaten and you're taking all of this but why would people so be so selfish like they counted you guys in that house and they gave you guys the amount of snacks why not take your own and allow it others to, to take the rest and see what happens see what the all-stars housemate does what they do is the head of house will be in charge be the one to share this thing a particular housemate in charge as the head of house for that week will be the one to share those things i think that's the best thing to do because it's not fair that some people would eat more than others and some persons will not get at all when the girl said that it actually got to me i'm like wow in my mind i'm like why didn't cassia and kelly ray even collect for her because she came out quite late but cassia said um she was thinking um uh, what's the name um one year sandy wanted to share it among others that when she took hers it was still many eight donuts there but this is really not fair anyways now let's even enter the gist proper these two were found at this corner having their conversation you know discussing family you know cassia was talking about her mom how industrious her mom is victoria was also talking about her mom how her mom will never stay in place that her mom doesn't like to rest so cassia said she has not seen anyone as industrious as her mom before so they were having that convo laughing at their mom you know just about family and then cassia threw in the big question honestly speaking i'm not gonna like cassia is just like me i am a very blunt person and if you're my friend i will tell you what i feel i'm not gonna hide it i'm this person that if we are friends you're gonna you're, you're definitely you need to be a very strong person to be my friend that's why i am very selective with my circle i have a very little circle and they are worthy of it you understand because i am a very plain person if you're in my circle you must be able to face the truth whether you are right or wrong i will tell you to your faces that is the reason behind me when i come to talk to you guys drop my analysis here i drop it as plain as i can be i wouldn't say oh because i like you then I'm, i just have to be doing some crooked movements it's not my thing not my doing so cassia asked victoria this thing and i love that question very well she asked victoria and said i want to ask you something oh that was how she came off and then Victoria was like, ask now, ask. She was just laughing, you know, laughing. Victoria was like, ask, you know. And then she now said, I want to ask, so, you know, um, the other time you said you and Femi was once close. You guys remember that Femi and Victoria used to be very close. And Victoria said it's because of some narrative that was brewing in the house that made her stay away from Femi because she doesn't want that because Onyeka and Femi used to be close. And then she in the picture, she just tried to stay away. Now, Cassia asked her, Cassia asked a very important question. Cassia said, you said you stayed away because of the narrative of oh try of that trop thing in that want to brew knowing that oneka and femi used to be close and now you're in the picture that was how why you stay away but why have you not stayed away i think the this particular one that is oz oneka and victoria is more controversial why have you not stayed away from this one just like he stayed away from that of femi if you say that that was the reason why he stayed away from um being close to femi why is this one different i love that question so much and then victoria was like okay i'm going to be honest with you why i stayed away from femi's own is because of um that of femi like for example um i i, I have friends for like I, I need friends that are emotionally supportive like for example she said ozzy is emotional he supports her emotionally you know that sometimes she can be flirty she said this herself but um 
OZ, that she even said it that OZ from the onset to remind him of someone she knows outside. You know, that when it comes to him, she, she now cited the example she gave during her diary session with one of the housemates where she said that Sean is very brutally honest. That um she she likes friends that are like that, that would put it to your face sometimes. That Femi is that kind of person that would want to tell you what you need to hear. She was just giving her her, her, her reasons, Sha, you know, and that Femi started, you know, taking their thing personal and that sometimes they would be dancing so close that there is how Femi used to dance. And Cassia said Femi danced like that with everybody. That that's why her sometimes she actually puts her boundaries. So um Victoria started saying that um she literally she, that she that there's this thinking the relationship with herself and Ozzy is quite different because that Ozzy is kind of um when it comes to reasoning, he's intelligent. You know, he start, she started saying some things, some of her reason, right? But what I see there is Victoria likes Ozzy naturally, so it's just there. And also she would not want to stay apart from that triangle because also they're in a game they need something around their their name for a, for the gameplay that's what me i felt so after giving her reason and then cassia said okay oh, that she has actually understand now because she wanted to know and then victoria started laughing calling her cassia cassia you know when somebody come out with her features to ask you a very hot question a blunt question that's how you would feel it's something you would take your time and start thinking about it later so um then Cassia now said, let me tell you my truth or what I think. I was thinking the reason why you don't want to stay away from OZ is because of the connection. You think he's up here. So you don't, you don't want to, you know, stay back because of your connection for your business. And then Victoria said, no ways. Victoria now told Cassia, read my lips. I have met people. She now told her, read my lips, I have met people. You know, when I say I have met people, I have really met people. That was what she was telling Cassia. That um, Cassia and I said, but and that does not stop, make you like, like you don't need more customer. Knowing people of I've met people, wealthy people, connections, does not mean you don't need more customers. I was laughing. I'm like, this girl is literally my kind of person. I mean, Cassia, I go ask you, Taya. <laughs> Joe, Victoria said there is another reason too why she did not stay back from OZ that she could not mention on this show right here on this game i'm like okay so that was how cassia you know said her own two cents you know about how she felt like it's for the connection but victoria says she has really met people and it's not for the connection at all but because of how they clicked and the likeness she has for ozzy and talking about them these two were together ozzy and his bestie onyeka onyeka was showing ozzy her dresses the, the dress she wants to wear when she wins the show yes you need to speak it until it comes to reality. And Onyeka is speaking it. Onyeka said was just showing Ozzy the dresses. So as Ozzy would make choice for her, the one she would wear on the finale, the one she would wear at the winner, and on Sunday too. And she said if she did do all of this thing and then they tell her she's going home on Sunday, that Biggie should get ready. She's going to be running around with a ninja. Like the ninja would have to be chasing her around. Anyways, hmm, talking about Sunday, almost Sunday go hot. So like it will be a very hot one on Sunday. I can't wait for Sunday to come. Let's see how it will play out. Meanwhile, while they were even having conversation, Onyeka still told Tofa again, Tofa, come, let me kiss you. And then Tofa was like, you want to wreck my home. Onyeka was just playing with Tofa. I told you guys they were dragging her because of this kiss thingy with Tofa. Onyeka go whine you normally, but no panic. <laughs> Coming from the cutest Kimi, Cassia's mouth, the fact that Victoria didn't take it in a bad way, their bond is really strong. Yes, I think she has actually weighed and seen how close herself and Victoria is. Like, if you're not being open and blunt to your friend, who should you be open with? Is it better you go discuss it with someone else? Like, it's better you tell your friend how you feel and what you think about her. You know, so that when you're with your friend, your friend will know that, see what this person have in mind for me. Not having that in your mind and... You are not being plain. When it comes to um, relationship, transparency is something I respect so much. Anyways, guys, I think I'll be dropping my voice right here. You guys tell me the rest in the comment section. Do you think Victoria was sincere with her answers or you think there was something there? Tell me what you feel about those conversations that I just discussed with you guys, okay? Thank you so, so much for always sailing with me. And please do not forget to subscribe and make sure your notification bell is steadily on. Bye for now, babies.